Hello, my name is Birgit from Big Blue Boards and today we talk about kite harnesses. So let's dive in to the most common question according to kite harnesses. Waist harness or seat harness? This will be the first question you need to answer before you get your first harness. And in this video I will help you with some input benefits and also negative points for both types of kite harness. Let's start with the seat harness. What are the plus points? What are the benefits of using a seat harness? Um, you definitely have more stability using a seat harness. The, to the towing point is lower and uh, the, the harness will not ride up the chest. So especially in the beginning, especially when you start kite surfing and you have the kite quite often and uh, on the high position around 12 o'clock, a seat harness uh, will be um, maybe the better choice for you. What are the negative points of a seat harness? You have to consider the movement, uh, the range of movement is smaller, is constricted by the seat harness, by these straps that you have around your, whip, your hips. Some people say seat harness is less comfortable and uh, also often compared to giant diapers. But I will come to that uh, later in this video. It doesn't always have to be like that. Benefits and negative points about waist harness. You have full leg freedom in w w using a waist harness. You also have a better torso maneuverability. It is easier to put on, quicker to put on. It's more comfortable, especially uh, when you are at the beach or swimming. It can lead to back discomfort, on the other hand. There is more pressure around your um, waist and also therefore around your lower back. It can cause rushes because it does move more and it also rides up higher on, on, your, on your hips or also pressing on your ribcage and that can cause rushes, especially if you don't wear a rush guard like I have here one. So if you want to ride in a bikini, it can uh, be quite painful with the waist harness. Yeah, and as I said, it tends to ride up, uh, which you probably have experienced already by now. Once you have decided uh, which type you want to use, and if you are going for a waist harness, also there, there are different uh, types again, different um, types of waist harness you can choose from quick overview. There are three main types. It's a soft shell harness, the hard shell harness and the new, the flex shell harness, which is like a hybrid between the first two above. The soft shell harness, like you see one here on the picture, is better suitable for beginner or intermediate rider, for the riding style free ride or for your first jumps and also for the smaller wallet. They are slightly less expensive. The hard shell harness is uh, suitable for advanced or intermediate rider, for freestyle uh, type of riding, for better back support in stronger winds and also it does fit much better, it stays better in place. Of course it doesn't mean you can't use a hard shell harness when you are a total beginner, of course you can always use a hard shell harness and I actually do recommend to use a hard shell harness. It will support your back better, it will stay better in place. The negative point about the hard shell harness is it's uh, slightly more expensive and it's not... Um, maybe if you are a beginner you don't want to invest that much in a kite harness. So there is uh, another option, the flex shell harness or hybrid harness. Um, the Almost all the brands are already producing now this kind of kite harness and it is uh, as it says, a hybrid between the hard shell and the soft shell, and it comes with almost all the benefits of both of them. It's a very, very good uh, compromise between the soft shell and the hard shell harness. You find a wide selection on harnesses in our online shop, bigblueboards.com. We have pre-selected the best kite harnesses for women at the moment on the market and you can choose from all different kinds and shapes or also different uh, prices of harnesses. And here you can see, like I mentioned before, the seat harness doesn't always have to look like a diaper, they actually look uh, really stylish. 
like this one from Mystic, the Passion. Does look really nice, looks like a shorts. So girls, don't let yourself force into a shape that is not yours. Because women's kite gear matters.